All right, hey, this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got one from Suga Kia. I believe this is a Toyama white shrimp, fancy fancy. And this came in a Zen Pop box. Go to Zen Pop. Excuse me, ZenPop.jp and use the coupon code The Ramen Raider for a discount. Hey. So let's make it so. Obviously, I've already destroyed the packaging. This is what I do. It's what I do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't do. But 420 mils of water. We're going to throw the new noodle block in. I got to say, that's one of my favorite brands of noodles. Not because of the, the, the noodles itself, but the name. N-E-W-D-L-E-S, noodles. And then I wonder if they would ever make, this is like a sachet of season. And this one goes for four minutes. Uh, and a lid, right? This is the right lid, I think it must be. We'll slap a lid on it and call it good for now until it's time to put this in there and we'll put that on top of the lid to warm up but yeah what's going on uh, I don't know I don't know but it is Thursday, so today I'm on my second of three reviews, and once I'm done with today, that'll be 12 reviews I've done this week, and I'm gonna, I'm going for a perfect. I want to get 15 reviews in this week. I might even do reviews Saturday and Sunday, I don't know, I figure why not. The thing that's hard to balance is the time to get the uh, posts ready to go. If I don't have that all set up the night before, then the ne the part after I do these videos takes forever, so. But yeah, yesterday I did the longest walk I've done since we got sick. So on, I think it was January 9th, I did like 23,000 steps. Yesterday I did 20,000 some odd steps. So. Oh man, I'm sore too. Almost, almost a month, at least three weeks out from cranking it, cranking it out. Walked all the way to Bothell and all the way to Lake Forest Park. And then I even went to the store on the way home. So it's good stuff, good sore. Today I'm gonna try to get out there and walk some more. I keep playing that stupid Pikmin Bloom game and I don't know, I think it's fun. It's fun. I have fun. What do you want? But they've got little, uh, you can get these like extra large seedlings that they grow out of. The, the whole process of the game is kind of contrived and bizarre. But anyways, you can get these big ones and right now they're turning into, uh, they've got like, they're like these little weird alien looking guys, but sometimes they'll have stuff on them. Like there's one that has like a head that's a banana. Well, right now they're all Lunar New Year stuff, which is pretty rad. So, yeah. It's a thing to strive for, a thing to enjoy, and is enjoyable. I'm really curious about this one. I mean, look at that. Look at that spoon. Wow, it looks fancy. That is Photoshop to the help, which is fine. Everything I do is Photoshop to the help. I, I, you know, you see this shot, and then you see this shot over here of all the stuff in the bowl. It's like, how do you get from there to there? <laughs> it's like, I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully it's good, I got chashu, I got egg, you know. And then after this one will be a yakisoba, which I'm like, mm, we'll see. Hopefully it's good. I really hope it is good. If it's not good, I'm gonna be like, well, that's not good, but we'll see. My daughter is out in the living room singing about going to Target. Oh, 
crazy. She's into this this kid on YouTube named Ryan. You know who Ryan is? He's like the spawn of these two people that decided to have a kid so they could market him to the universe. And he's got his own line of toys. He's got his own line of this and that and the other thing. It's just like, wow. I don't know. He seems to enjoy what he's been kind of like forced into. <laughs> I think I think he likes it. I know my daughter absolutely is like thrilled of his existence. It's for the the heartthrob of the the teeny tiny kiddo set. That's cool. Oh my god, we watched a movie last night. You know what we watched? Well, first we watched we watched some Manda, or uh, I'm sorry, I think that's what it's turning into now. We were watching uh, Book of Boba Fett. I don't think Boba Fett even spoke during that last episode. I think he had maybe like one line of dialogue. But it's like, oh look, it's Mando. Oh no, look, wow, there's Grogu. And then there's our buddy Luke, Luke uh, Skywalker. Mr. Skywalker, training Grogu, and being a total dick, Luke Skywalker was a dick, he's like, you can either have this thing from your buddy, or you can have my lightsaber, or you're, you're, you're gonna have Yoda's lightsaber, but you can only pick one, it's like, dude, why you gotta be a dick? I don't, I, I didn't really find that enjoyable. Ooh, I'm smelling, I'm smelling prawn effervescence here. I'm smelling that sweet tea-like prawn smell. Oh my, there's the noodle. Oh my, hey. There's the broth. Broth of froth, froth. It's not bad, very salty. I will say, I had a very nice tones of prawn. It doesn't have that prawn sweetness that, you know, I know and love like nothing else, like Malaysian style, but this isn't Malaysian style. This is Taiwanese or Japanese. Good God. It's good. It's good. I'm 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 impressed. It gets a smattering of stars. In the sea of stars. Okay. Oh. I don't have any prawn. But I have a chashu. Take that, Captain Proton. I tell you, you gotta get one of these. This is a blast. Fresh egg. Ah, come on, behave. I'm really enamored with this bowl of ramen. I want you to behave. Thank you. That was really nice of you. Thank you, egg. You know, sometimes you just gotta talk to your talk to your eggs. Go listen. But never curse your egg. Well, I curse my eggs often. See how that gets. 
Watch all the episodes of Instant Noodle Recipe Time and you'll see you can you can start doing some data analysis on episodes where I curse the egg versus episodes where I don't and see how it what it gets me. I think that'd be fun, don't you? Spend a month or more. There are 1300 and what is this? 1360? 1370? I don't know. There's a lot of it, and I know you enjoy it. One of those. Ah. Some seeds. I didn't get any seed in the egg. No, good. I don't know why. I really don't like getting sesame seeds in the eggs. Gonna use this uh, fancy shichimi right about like that. And there you have it. Yeah, very prawny. I think it's like a white, white toyoma, right? White shrimp, I think. Yeah. Do it to it. See it tomorrow. This is Maroshan from Toyo Suisan. This is their Fujinomiya Yakisoba, and it's part of the Fujinomiya Yakisoba organization. They approve Yakisoba, I guess. Japan, you take the cake. See you tomorrow. Bye.